Okay, there are two lifts. They're both Otis lifts. This is the big one. It holds 16 people, 1,200 kilos of people, 1.2 metric tons of human being. You would easily get a couple of wheelchairs in here and a push chair. It is a very big lift. It's like something out of an airport. The lift uh, parallel to this one is about half the size of this one. But uh, yeah, this is the daddy lift. I'm at the end of a corridor, which is good, no passing traffic. So welcome to room 425 at the Salis Malaga Centro Hotel. I'm in Malaga in Spain, in Andalusia, second time this year. One of my favourite Spanish cities, I've got to say. In fact, it could be my favourite Spanish city. I love Malaga, it's a great city, underrated. Anyway... I'm here as part of a Jet2 holidays or Jet2 city breaks package and I'm here for six nights. There are two of us that are here for six nights and we have paid a certain amount of money, which I can't remember. So that's going to appear as if by magic on screen just here right now. And that is for flights, luggage both ways, no transfers, accommodation with breakfast. Right, let's go back to the beginning and talk you through what you get. So I came in that door just there. You'll note that there is a card in the electricity thing just there. And then you've got a huge mirror for checking yourself out. Today's combination is populate itself and public enemy. Um, moving around, we have another mirror just here. So it's very mirror friendly, if you like to reflect on yourself. Uh, plug socket down there on the floor and various light switches on the wall. And there is a condicionado which I can never work out how you use, but there it is. Let's just try doing that. Oh, it works. Right, over here we've got a flat screen LG TV and behind that are a couple of uh, data points, hardwired data points and a couple of plug sockets. Note the cleaned and sanitized remote control in a plastic bag, COVID measures, and the desk just here and the chair and underneath the desk is, is it a fridge? Is it a minibar? What is it? I don't know, I can't get into it. Oh, it's a minibar and it's a well-stocked minibar. Okay, I don't know what the prices are, but we can find out. So that looks good, a Dometic. Moving further along, we've got a desk lamp and another plug socket down there. And then we've got a hodgepodge of furniture. It's like it's all lined up. We're wondering where to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that table there next to the bed. This chair just here and that luggage rack in the corner is going to go at the end of the desk. And that's a much more logical placing. It feels like the cleaner has just moved the furniture and not put it back to where it should be. Um, so we've got a tall lamp just there. And then now look, we have two single beds well they're actually very generous size single beds as well next to each other rather than one big double um, but we're still friends we still talk to each other the wife and i we've got plug sockets on either side of the bed and on that side of the bed is a bedside table with drawers and a telephone and then there's some fancy gadgetry for controlling the lighting over there somewhere there um not the decor is from the 80s. It's black and red. I had furniture like this in my bedroom as a teenager, the black and red theme. So it's very 1980s decor, especially with the squares and the lines just there like that. But yeah, this is from the 80s. Must be a retro thing because I was in uh, Belgium the other week and that was from the 70s. Right, let's have a look in the wardrobe. So. It is a double wardrobe. This side is shelving, hangers, and you get one, two, three, four, five, six hangers, and some more shelving at the bottom. And on this side of the wardrobe is a lot of shelving, but no more hangers. So you only get a total of six hangers. You know what that silver thing is at the back? That's interesting. You wouldn't see that unless you were pointing a camera in there. I'll find out. Um, and then, tea and coffee making facilities, safe that you put your own code in, 
Um, a random... Oh, so is it a laundry bag? I don't know. Uh, I can't see any extra bedding anywhere. So might be requesting that because the white pillow looks a little bit skinny, to be completely honest. Uh, certainly not deep enough for me. Uh, one last thing I want to show you inside the room is outside of the room. An oxymoron for you, but uh, it's the balcony. So we have a balcony and... Oh, yeah, that is definitely in the wrong place because the door doesn't open. Ugh. So the balcony... So Malaga Centro Railway Station is down the river just there. It takes about 10 minutes to walk here from there. It's 0.4 miles. Dragging a suitcase took us 10 minutes. So Malaga Old Town over there, Malaga Centro down there, and that's the really nice bit with all the things that you want to spend your time looking at. But Centro's good for transport connections along the Costa del Sol and also into Spain. That's the street outside. So it's a very small balcony, but nevertheless, it is a balcony and that is a winner. Quite noisy out there, but when you shut the door, you don't hear it. Right, let us have a look in the bathroom. And that is right down here through this door. So the bathroom is very traditionally Spanish decor. So this is not from the 80s, this is from whatever decoration period this would be from, but it's very traditional, um, although quite a mismatch on the pattern, but I'm not worried about that. Uh, there's a lot of lights. <laughs> Lots of lights. It's a massive shower cubicle rather than a terrible shower bath situation. So I'm very happy about that. So yeah. So you've got that shower just there and that shower just there. Nice big amount of space. And you've got shower gel, conditioner and shampoo. Two towels up there. And this gadgetry, this is what's next to the bed. This isn't just lighting, this is also uh, radio, apparently. So that's uh, interesting, need to investigate that. A couple of hooks for hanging things up. We like hooks, big thumbs up. And of course the toilet and plenty of room to relax. And you can do your business while you're doing your business. Very good. Hair dryer for those people who wish to preen their performance. Shaving mirror, two plug sockets, all in all, I'm a very happy chappy. This is a nice little room and hotel and bathroom. Everything's nice. I won't say nice anymore now. Okay, I've got off a plane, dragged a suitcase here, done this bit of film, I'm red hot, I need to strip off and go to the upstairs pool to relax. I'll catch you in a bit. So if you want to go upstairs to the rooftops of Impool, you take a different lift at the other end of the building. So the swimming pool is on the sixth floor. And again, it's another Otis. This lift holds six people, but it has a nice view. When I say a nice view, it's a view of the street outside, it's a view. 
Let's not be snobby. Hey, look. The film that you've just watched is a Moss Travel Media production and you can find more like them by going to www.mosstravel.tv Thank you so much for supporting my YouTube channel and watching my film, it's hugely appreciated. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, by going to youtube.com forward slash Stuart Moss hit the red subscribe button, when you've done that a little bell will appear if you hit the bell then you'll also get notifications about any future travel films which I upload. If you like my travel films then you might also like my second channel which is about home and garden. Uh, please uh, have a look for that channel, you'll find it at www.mosshomeandgarden.co.uk and if you like what you see please give that a subscribe also. If you'd like to connect with me as Moss Travel Media on other social media then you'll find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Moss Travel, that's the page. And if you'd like to connect with the profile then the profile is Moss Travelog. If you'd like to connect with me on Instagram to see my travel photography, where I'm up to, what stories I'm telling, then go to instagram.com forward slash stewmoss or do a search for user stewmoss. If you'd like to connect on Twitter, I'm at Moss Travel TV. On Pinterest, I'm Moss Travel Media, which is pinterest.co.uk forward slash Moss Travel TV. On Tumblr, I'm stuartmoss.tumblr.com or just do a search for Moss Travel Tumblr. On WordPress, I'm wordpress.com forward slash view forward slash Moss Travel TV dot wordpress.com or do a search for Moss Travel Media on WordPress. And on vcontactor you can find me by going to vk.com forward slash Moss Travel Media or doing a search for Stuart Moss. If you'd like to contact me about film usage or any other issue please just email me on mosstraveltv at gmail.com and once again, thank you for watching and for your support. I really, really do appreciate it. I wish you all the best of days, happy travels and bon voyage.